Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, given the equation y equals negative 3x plus 9, graph and find x-intercept, y-intercept, slope, and zero. Let's underline or let's highlight what is important for us to know about this problem. Well, they want me to graph the following equation. First thing I want to do is I am going to write down my equation, which is y equals negative 3x plus 9. And right below that, we're going to write down the slope intercept form, which is mx plus b. I am going to use that to help me identify a couple of things. This is going to help me identify the y-intercept. And the y-intercept, it's also known for the number where everything starts. Next, I am going to circle the m, which is negative 3 in this case. And that is my slope. Now, what I want to do next is I want to write down my slope as a fraction. Because if I write it as a fraction, then that's going to help me do the rise over run. So my number, it's a 3, but it's a negative 3. Therefore, that means that I'm going to go 3 down. And the 1 is positive. So I am going to go 1 to the right. Now, keep in mind that if the slope is negative, then my line needs to be kind of like facing or the highest point should be going to the left of my graph. Is that right? So when I finish, hopefully my line kind of looks like that. So what's the number that I'm going to start with? Well, the number that I'm going to start, it's the y-intercept, which is positive 9. And that is way up here. Once I do that, then I'm going to follow my slope that says I'm going to go 3 down. So let's count. I'm going to go 1, 2, and 3 down. After that, I'm going to go 1 to the right, which is right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing, 3 down and 1 to the right, 3 down and 1 to the right, and continue, 3 down, 1 to the right. Notice how I'm not doing the loops anymore. But make sure you guys are counting correctly. One, two, three, and one. The reason why I didn't want to do the loops anymore is because it makes my line looks a little bit messy. But it's very important that I do the counting so that you understand why am I going uh, three down and things like that. Let's go ahead and connect the points. Do the best you can. And notice how this one it still looks like a little bit pointing to the left. Is that right? And if it points to the right, to the left, it means it's a negative slope. So let's see what's the first thing that they need for me to find. I want to find the x-intercept. And remember, x-intercept means that this is the point where the line is crossing the x-axis. Okay? So this is where it's crossing the x-axis. And who's crossing it? The line, of course, right? So my line is crossing right there. So think about it like if you're walking down. And I want to find my point when it's crossing the x-axis. So imagine that x, like if I highlight it all the way. And now I'm going to be finding the point that is right there on the X, but it belongs to the line. So it's somewhere here. You can see that? It's on X, but it's part of the line. And that point is 1, 2, and 3. Very good. So that point is going to be 3 and 0. So notice how the X intercept has a value of 3, but the Y has a value of zero. So very important that you see the 
the connection. Now let's look at the next one. I need to find the y-intercept. So that means that now I need to look at the y-axis. And I'm going to look at the line and see if I can find the point where this line is crossing the y-axis. Okay? So if you notice, it's going to be right there. And this number, it's 9. So this is my y-intercept. Now think about it. This point is touching the y. Therefore, it's called the y-intercept. This point down here is touching the x. Therefore, it's called the x-intercept. And notice how when I did the equation on the bottom, I did say that 9 was the y-intercept. Okay? But now I know that that point will be 0 and 9. And 0 is the x coordinate, and 9 is the y coordinate. So on the y intercept, x has a value of 0. Okay, it's like the opposite of the x intercept. Let's go to the next one. What about a slope? Well, I'm hoping that you don't need to do rise over run for this. Because by looking at the equation, I do see m equals negative 3. And m, we said it was the slope. Therefore, my slope is negative 3. I don't need to say negative 3 over 1. I can just put the negative 3. How about 0? Well, the 0 is the same as x-intercept. The only difference is that we are not going to write down the whole coordinates. We're going to focus only on the x-coordinate. Okay? So the x-coordinate is 3. Therefore, my answer will be x equals positive 3. So I'm going to go ahead and do another label over here. So that, we already put a label that it says is the x-intercept, but that is going to be also the 0 for my function. Okay? 